Welcome back to Lay Lawn Electronics. I got a couple cool circuits to uh, show you guys. This right here is my single channel oscilloscope. As you can see, we got a triangle wave uh, on display. Oh, it's getting away from us, it's drifting off. I got my um, uh, Disno oscilloscope to verify that my oscilloscope is, you know, working properly. So, real quick, I have a uh, function generator. I'm gonna put the link in below. I did a video in another circuit on my uh, function generator circuit. So this one is the ICL8038, right there. And this one uses the XR2206. Okay, so we got, uh, this is gonna be a three part video. This first one is my single channel, single color oscilloscope. Um, you don't need a microprocessor, it's just use regular uh, uh, chips, so no programming needed. I'm gonna post a schematic um, for you guys to print out and build. Uh, the second circuit is a dual channel, dual color oscilloscope, which I use dual color um, eight by eight dot matrix displays. This one just uses a single color eight by eight dot matrix display and these are like orange so it's set up in eight by 32 there's four of them you can make it you know how many you need but i had five but four four is enough to give you a good waveform eight by 32 um so after this example i'm going to insert a video where um when i was building this i was testing all sorts of um waveforms from the function generator that I had already built. So I just built a function generator, built my oscilloscope and, you know, plugged it in the input and you'll see all the waveforms I was able to get. Okay, so this one's giving us a triangle, triangle output as you guys can see right there. So that's feeding, let me get my camera, okay. There's the function generator right here. Let's feed in the input of the oscilloscope. Okay, and as you can see, the triangle wave is coming and going, it's drifting. So we have the sweep or the time is right here. This right here is the gain. We'll adjust that. Um, so uh, let's just see if we could track this wave, this triangle. Oh, okay. This potentiometer is really sensitive. You see it? There it is, triangle. It almost looks like a sine wave. Like th this isn't, it's not going to be, you know, precise. You know, like you're not going to get a really sharp um, triangle wave, but you got to see it. Okay. And I can also adjust it from the... Um, the generator. Okay, let's see if we could get it better. I'm tweaking it. Uh, it's almost there. Okay, here. Okay, now the other output um, should be I only have two outputs broken out. It gives three square, triangle, and a sign. So I'm just going to take my other lead here, unplug it, and plug it into this. Okay, okay, here's a sine wave. So I should be getting a nice sine wave on my oscilloscope. Oh, there it is. Let me try to get it better. Uh, there it is, you guys see it? Can you catch it? Uh, right there. I'm gonna have to uh, get a different type of uh, potentiometer. These little blue ones are really hard to, you know, adjust. For this type of circuit, you know, you got to get the timing down. Okay, there it is. Right there. So I'm going to try to adjust it on the function generator to get it. Uh, there we go. There. You guys see that? Slick. Okay, so again, I'm going to post the um, schematic up on the uh, website. But, oh, there it is. It's It's... It, it sunk up. Okay. 
Um, okay, so this is your input stage right here. It goes into um, an op amp, you know, which breaks, you know, which breaks, not breaks down the signal, but cuts it, um, cuts the signal, you know, in half. Then it goes into a um, another op amp where you can control the gain. So you'll see all this on the uh, on the schematic. These um, what do we have here? The uh, seven four one five four is set up in a one of thirty two uh, counter. So what this is? This is your time and your sweep. It's just going to keep scrolling one through. 32 back and forth back and forth and that's how you get your your sweep and you adjust that through this 555 um pot right here so that'll give you your time when you adjust that and that'll determine how fast these are sweeping on the analog end i have comparators i have eight of them one for each each um stage one two three one through eight so you got eight levels so when you put your uh voltage in from the from the wave you know it'll be a sine wave up and down up and down so your comparators go up and down this is where you get your your um your voltage your your peak of your the waveform so hopefully i'm explaining that right yeah so that, that's pretty much it now on the dual color dual channel oscilloscope i'm using a a to d converter so i'm going to show you how to do three different oscilloscopes in three different three different type of ways so this one uses comparators this one's going to use a um lm3914 and the third one which is rgb three channel one is going to use an A to D converter. So from basic, uh, mid-level, you want to call it, to a uh, microcontrolled uh, oscilloscope. But this basic one right here, you know, this is a basic single color, single channel using regular TTL or CMOS chips. So we're going to, one more example, we're going to try to... Uh, Catch it. Okay, there it is. Now this is still this is still scope where I got right here. This Disno slick. It has an output right on the side for a square wave. So I'm gonna plug that in, and I'm gonna try to generate a square wave. See if I can see a square wave on my scope here. All right. So um, let me unplug that. Okay. See if we can get a square wave on there. Square waves are hard because you 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 really can't get the side. It'll just give you the, the top. Okay, let me see. No, that's going too slow. Okay. Okay, let me check the gain. Okay, there we go. All right, let me try to adjust it on that. See on the oscilloscope, you can adjust the uh, the frequency. Okay. Oh, that's, that's, I'm going the wrong way. I gotta go up. Okay, that's too fast. Okay, let's go to 20K. That's 10K. 5K, let's try that. Let's see if we can get a square. Why is it giving me? Okay, it's almost a square. You see it? So, it's kinda, again, this is just my basic oscilloscope. It's not perfect. It's not that, you know, detailed because it's only 8 by 32. Now, I had built one where it was 16 by 40, but it took up a lot of board space, so I basically just cut it in half. But there's a square wave. Okay. And again, this thing is... I'll have to change that. All right, so I'm going to insert the uh, other video... So you can see the other examples of the uh, waveforms I got and go to the website, print this out, leilonielectronics.com, build it. Part two, I'm going to go over the dual color, dual channel 
oscilloscope that I built. Um, you know, just tons of ways you can build these, but I did it, you know, the three different ways that I've been experimenting with them over the years. So, uh, again, this one uses the uh, LM2901 comparators set up as a voltage divider and these uh, TTL 1 of 32 counters for the sweep. Uh, your LM55, 555 timer controls the um your time for the uh your your sweep and um that's about it 7805 regulators all five volts your input stage op amp for gain you know to adjust the signal and that's pretty pretty much simple so go print the schematic part two i'll go in detail of the uh again the dual color dual channel oscilloscope and also check out the function generator video that I made so you can build that and also build this you know check out some waveforms <laughs>